Welcome back everyone. You may be in a position where for some reason your iPhone just keeps disconnecting and connecting from a charger. Now this can happen for a couple of different reasons, but normally it's either your phone that's the problem or the charger that's the problem. So in this first half of the video, I'll explain exactly how to fix it if you think it's your phone. Now, first of all, you want to determine whether your phone is an extremely old phone or if it's fairly new. If your phone is like an iPhone 8 or an iPhone 10 or newer, then you'll probably be good, even an iPhone 7. But if you have an iPhone 5, 5S, 6 or whatever, those phones tend to have more problems, mostly because they are older and a lot of parts may be faulty. So hopefully for you, if you kept your phone in good condition, you may not even have any you know, hardware problems. There can be a time where your charging port may be failing, maybe the battery is failing, and it may be best if you go and contact Apple and then get it sorted that way. Now let's say you have you know, a phone that you don't think is, has a hardware problem or whatever. Well, the easiest thing you can do that I tend to do all the time is flip your phone to the bottom of the charging port like this, and once you're here, you basically want to go ahead and look at the actual iPhone charger port and see if there's a bunch of stuff, you know, a bunch of dust or debris or whatever stuck in there. Sometimes it may be best to even grab your iPhone charger and just plug it in just temporarily and see if it wiggles in and see if it's a secure fit. If the charger has a secure fit, then it may not even be this specific issue that's the problem. But what you want to do is grab a toothpick, grab some type of plastic, you know, type of, you know, material and kind of scrub the inside of your charging port. You basically want to go ahead and try to pry out as much dust, pry out as much debris or whatever stuff is stuck in there and clean it out thoroughly that way. This by far is the easiest fix that you can go ahead and do and it tends to be this is the issue more than anything. Now let's say that isn't the issue. Well, it may not even be your iPhone that's the issue then. What you want to do is you want to look at the charger in and of itself. Now you would not believe how many chargers I've messed up throughout the years, how many times they've been messed up in general. So what you want to do is locate the whole entire charger first starting with the tip. You want to look at the charger itself. If your iPhone is not charging, it may be the charger itself. So you want to look at the tip and if it looks like it's in good condition, then it may not be the tip that's the issue. So you want to go ahead and inspect it. You don't have to be like a full-time inspector of this thing. Just kind of look at it. If it looks fine, then you can go ahead and kind of maneuver through the rest of the charger and see if there's any tears, anything that's kind of messed up. Then what you want to do is locate on the part of the charger where it connects here. Now, if it disconnects, then you want to look at this portion of the charger as well. And you basically want to look through it, same exact thing, see if there's any, you know, things that can possibly be wrong with it, any chipping on this specific charging port. If it still seems like it's in good condition, what you want to do is locate the charging brick or the port in which you're plugging this in. If you're plugging it into an I, a MacBook or something, then it then you want to go look at that specific port. But in this case, if you look at this specific charging brick, you want to go ahead and do the same exact thing, look inside this charging port and see if it's good. Like I said before, nine times out of 10, you'll probably end up being okay. And you just want to make sure there's nothing else stuck in here like this thing, whatever this was. You want to make sure nothing is obstructing this specific port of you plugging it in. And as long as that plugs in, you want to make sure the you know port itself looks fine, you know, the outlets. And as long as it plugs in, I would recommend trying a different outlet or something like that. And at this point, it should be okay. You would be able at this point to determine whether it was a charging problem or an iPhone problem. And I will be honest, at this point, you should be good to go. And I would recommend plugging your iPhone back into the charger and seeing if it's working. Like I mentioned before, typically at this point, you should be good to go. And if you know if it's still not working, I would recommend contacting Apple and letting them fix it for you. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, that everything also, every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.